Well, I'm on the farm today, and uh, it's uh, November the 4th, as I alluded to you in my hay update video. Uh, I was thinking about cutting some hay, and I uh, kind of walked around, and I think I'm going to give it a try. Uh, we've got five or six days of really good uh, weather, even though it's cooler. Later on, uh, towards the end of the five days or so, it's going to actually be pretty pretty warm today is a thursday i think this is thursday november the 4th and uh i'll just walk over here to this field i'm only gonna do hay on this side of the road if you're familiar with the layout here you'll see it a little better here in just a second but uh On the other side of that tree line and hay wagon, there's a we have other fields over there, and uh, but I'm not going to try to make any hay on the other side of that road back over the hill, at least not uh, during this uh, uh, period of time. I've said uh, over and over in my videos that uh, if we get uh, some hard frost, killing frost then I would uh, probably attempt to make some videos. And uh, we've had that, and now we got a window. Uh, even though the temperatures are cool, uh, there's just steady breeze and sunshine. And uh, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to cut the field over on the other side of those trees, as I mentioned. And on Saturday, sometime on Saturday, morning probably early saturday morning i'm gonna uh cut this hay and uh try to bail it on a tuesday but uh we'll see so i checked the fluids on the john deere and uh they look fine Let's see if i can get this thing to start a little bit of juice <laughs> definitely cold now what I'm gonna do uh, when I cut some hay here today is believe it or not I'm not I'm not gonna use my Heston and uh, if I do use this thing it'll be on the hill uh, I don't have my 1105 Massey, big Massey, uh, to take over the hill with the crone. But I can run the crone on the John Deere in second cutting, and I've done it many times uh, without issue, knock on wood. But uh, because of the, the time of the year we got, and, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of moisture down near the... Uh, base of the ground so what I want to do is I don't want to fumble around uh, with this machine getting clogged I want to get the hay cut and I can do it faster with my John Deere and that crone and then when I get done I want to put the little Massey 50 model 50 on the uh, Vermeer uh, tatter rake and spread it out so uh, there's only so many hours uh, this evening and I've taken a half a day off of work to be up here so like I say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park this uh, Heston and uh, I'm gonna put put the crone on the John Deere and we're gonna mow a little bit of hay I'll be back. I 
Alright, I fueled up the uh, John Deere. That ought to get me across the field a time or two. Alright, I got the crone on the John Deere and uh, I'm going to pull it over to the other part of the farm and put some grease to it and then uh, we'll be ready to go. Alright, so, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a grease to this thing. I've got a different drive shaft. I uh, had to uh, come up with a second uh, PTO shaft for this crone when I uh, put the quick hitch on my big Massey. It extended that, this mower out probably a good six inches, and uh, the shaft I had on there was just too short. But, I, but I've still got it, the old one, and uh, works perfectly on this tractor. So I'm going to put that on, and I'm going to put some grease on, and then we're going to go out here and try to make a little bit of hay. Take my lock and lube grease gun and I've greased everything and uh, we're going to head to the field. So what I'm doing here, I'm just kind of letting this thing run a little bit at kind of a, a little faster idle. I just want the grease to kind of get, you know, there is some thickness to it. And uh, just rolled out here a little bit just kind of looking at my stubble my blades are not super sharp so I need to set the height of the hitch up there and uh, I may point the blades downward a little bit so let me uh, take care of all that stuff and uh, we'll start mowing the Sun it's kind of faded. It's still up there, but some clouds have come up. And uh, but you know, I'm walking around this grass, and there's some moisture on my toes. But it's not. Uh, you know how it is sometimes. Sometimes you walk in grass, and it's just like you can wring the water out of your shoe. You can take it off and dump the water out. It's nothing like that. But uh, you know, obviously, it's not June. Uh, summer dry either but uh, I'm gonna cut it anyway and uh, we'll just see what we get might have done about I've done about all I want to do uh, right now right in this area I'm not perfectly level I get on out there a little bit I will be but uh, I've got it somewhat dialed in You slam that PTO on, this thing will kill this motor and it'll kill the one in the uh, Massey 1105. Let's see what I can do. Start out with a slower gear. possible.
Yeah, I do. See that temperature mark? It'll move up just a little bit above it if it holds like it's always done. But we'll see. Alright, so I'm down here looking at the stubble. And it's probably uh, four inches high. And uh, some places where the grass is laid over, you know, it's not going to pick that up. I could set the, the tines on down into the ground, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a fair amount of grass in this field. It's probably half of what's in the one on the other side over there. But it's pretty good to me. I'm in fourth gear, uh, low range. I don't remember what the miles per hour is, but uh, 
it's a it's too fast for uh, my Heston. Sickle bar might would mow at this speed in ideal conditions. And you would think if I'm going to bog down, it's going to be in thick stuff like this. But it doesn't really bog down. The mower is offset a little bit different, obviously, than the uh, Heston. I find myself being streaked like that if I'm not careful. In second cutting, the impeller tines are not bad, like a roller, to blow the hay over. I think you get a cleaner cut. Some people might say you don't need any conditioner on second cutting, just leaves. And that's probably true, but it just seems to me like if you can scuff the leaves, obviously you can't crimp them. Uh, that's a good thing. So. We'll see in the next few days if it'll dry out. Cutting right along. I uh, feel like I'm losing a little bit of daylight here. The crow's making a nice clean cut. I could probably use some sharper blades. Uh, there'll be some streaks. If I get that tire right there over against the edge, uh, then I pushed the mower conditioner too far that way. But all in all, it's cut pretty good. And while the tractor is loaded, uh, I don't feel like it's... Uh, I'm not pulling it down, you know, like a lawnmower and tall weeds and uh, the gauge. For heat, is. uh staying where I like it, but it's not exactly hot out here either, so that, that helps. This won't take long, this little field. So this John Deere turns tighter than my big Massey Ferguson, as you would expect. And the wheels are smaller in diameter you can make a, a turn that exceeds 90 degrees and uh, so you have to be careful not to put that rear wheel into the man right in the center of that chrome lettering. I'm not going to cut down there in that low ground I don't think. Uh, a fair amount of Foxtail down there, and there's a whole lot of leaves. Moving right along here. It's a goodly amount of hay, but it always looks like a goodly amount of hay when you cut it. See what it looks like in a few days. The biggest problem with the John Deere I'm having is the driver. I'm getting too close that way or too far out that way, but it's okay. I'm enjoying the ride.
All right, so I got this field cut, and uh, I need to go around the perimeter. And, uh, and then there's a little jag of hay up there on top I'm going to cut. But, uh, you know, uh, my John Deere, you know, I can't explain it. It does pretty good with this chrome, but it is second cutting. I don't think I'd be cutting, you know, stuff is uh, to the top of that uh, yellow rim right there on that rear wheel. But, uh, you know, for this, uh, it works fine. My Massey 1105 is not on the farm right now. It's being, uh, uh, it's going to have some winter repairs. But, uh, that's kind of the video uh, here in November. Second cutting hay. It ought to be third or fourth cut, but that's just not the way 2021 has worked out. And I'm going to finish this up, and then uh, I'm going to put my tether on my Model 50 Massey. It's, even though the sun, the sun's actually right up there. The clouds have kind of got it hid, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and ted this stuff out. And uh, it'll have the sun and wind all day tomorrow. And uh, so that's kind of the video. The uh, John Deere 5055D, the Chrome 2801CV, mower conditioner. It has impeller tines. Very, very quiet. We'll talk to you later.